Kim Seon Ho makes a surprise appearance in an interim advertisement for two days one night. Kim Seon Ho appeared in an interim advertisement for KBS 2 TV's entertainment show Two Days One Night. Two Days One Night Season 4, which aired on November 21, depicted the cast's trip to Jeju Island for the 100th episode following last week. After Kim Seon Ho's departure, it was the first broadcast recorded under a five-member system, including talent Yun Jung Hoon, Kim Jong Min, Moon Se Yoon, Din Din and Robbie. The production team almost edited the scene where Kim Seon Ho appeared in episode 97 airing on October 24. After about a month, a commercial for 11th Street in which Kim Seon Ho is a model was inserted as an interim one. This is an advertisement to promote the 11th Street Black Friday original sale help from November 22nd to November 30th ahead of Black Friday, November 26th, the largest shopping event in the United States. Initially, 11th Street took down advertising videos after the controversy over Kim Seon Ho's personal life broke out. From November 1st, the advertisement for the November 11th festival was kicked off again. At that time, an official of 11th Street said, this commercial was filmed in early October before the issue arose. Kim Seon Ho signed a model contract with us and faithfully fulfilled his duties. As he made an official apology, we have decided to resume his advertising activities as our brand's model. Some netizens declared a boycott of 11th Street, saying that they were uncomfortable with awareness of abortion. They certified the termination process of their 11th Street membership on SNS and attached the hashtag I'm terminating my 11th Street membership because of Kim Seon Ho. On October 17, Kim Seon Ho's ex-girlfriend A uploaded a long post titled I accuse the dual and shameless real personality of popular actor K on an online community. She wrote, he had done such subhuman behaviors to me, such as making me abort out baby and demanding unilateral sacrifice from me. My mental and physical trauma is in a serious state. Three days after remaining silent, Kim Seon Ho admitted to being the rumored actor mentioned in Ace Revelation. He said, I met her with good feelings. In the process, I hurt her with my careless and inconsiderate actions. Meanwhile, Kim Seon Ho will return with the movie Sad Tropical, director Park Hoon Jung. It is about a boy, who was born by a Korean father and a Filipino mother. He dreams of becoming a boxer and comes to Korea to find his father. Kim Seon Ho will play a mysterious character who seems to be an obstructor as if he was the boy's helper. He is scheduled to attend the script reading next month, and the work will start filming on December 10. Blackpink Felisa finally released a series of photos wearing the daring outfit that once caused a buzz during her US trip. Many fans think this is one of Lisa's legendary outfits as it's solid. Lisa recently posted a series of photos wearing a bold chest cutout top, but netizens' attention has been drawn to her waist cutout pants. Lisa once caused a stir when she appeared with this outfit at a studio in the US. The Blackpink's make me wore a cutout shirt that revealed her sexy bust. She also wore a pair of bold cut pants that fully showed off her seductive hips. This combination has allowed Lisa to flaunt her sexy body that so many girls desire. Netizens surprised to see Chanel ambassador Jenny gave Gucci gifts to YG dancers. Blackpink's Jenny sparks controversy over her gifts to the famous Guan twins. In YG, not only idols and artists, but also dancers also attract a large number of fans, typically twin brothers Kwon Young Duke and Kwon Young Don. Known for their top-notch choreography skills, handsome looks, and being close to four members of Blackpink, the dancer duo has been drawing much attention. Recently on the twins' birthday, Jenny also sent gift boxes to them. There was no big deal until netizens noticed the brand of the gifts. On his Instagram, the younger brother Young Don showed fans a photo of a Gucci gift box he received from Jenny. Seeing this story, many netizens wonder why Jenny gave Gucci gifts despite being a Chanel ambassador. Some netizens even dramatize the situation and suspect that Jenny might no longer collaborate with Chanel in the near future. Jenny's fans believe that speculations about the possibility of Jenny ending her contract with Chanel as an ambassador don't make sense, especially if they are based on her recent everyday outfits, which are not filled with items from Chanel. Jenny's style is flexible. 
She owns items from a variety of clothing brands such as Jacquemus, Alaya, Reformation, Nie, Alessandra Rich. Not to mention, daily style is personal freedom. Brand ambassadors are not obligated to only wear the brand's clothes all the time without change. And recently, Jenny also became the face of two global campaigns of Chanel. Before being dubbed the human Chanel, Jenny was deemed a perfect fit for Gucci because of her unique and classy aura, which makes the Gucci outfits she wears look more eye-catching. The Gucci red bow once worn by Jenny was even called Jenny's bow and became an accessory trend in Korea for a while. As for Jenny's Gucci gifts to Quan twins, there should not be an issue when Jenny gives her friends something from the brand she is not an ambassador. Not to mention, the gift belongs to the Gucci X Balenciaga collaboration project that Quan twins are currently involved in. Besides, maybe Jenny picked out Gucci gifts because it could be the twins' favorite brand. After all, Jenny knows her friends better than netizens.